Hello everyone, my name is Fox. This is going to be a review on the keyboard as well as the touch bar for the GPD Pocket 2. I'm not going to be touching anything on anything else in this video review wise. I'll have another view, a review uh, regarding the optical mouse touch sensor as well as a comparison between the GPD Pocket 1 and the GPD Pocket 2. Those three videos will, I will have available for the Indiegogo launch that is happening today. I don't feel comfortable doing a full review because I've only had this device in use for about 12 hours. I've had it since Friday, today is Sunday, but obviously I sleep a lot. So um, I have used the device a lot, but I'm not enough to say that I could do a full review. Having said that, we can see the translation of a full keyboard to the Pocket 2's keyboard. Now, one thing worth noting, uh, and a thing that I brought up in my previous review is that the keyboard for the Pocket 1 is very much left justified. It, it looks like a full keyboard enough from the left side, but from the right side, things get really, really cramped really, really fast. As well as the reversal of the Dell Backspace keys, uh, this caps lock key, things were just kind of placed wrong. This, this, half, this half space bar was kind of hard to hit sometimes. There was enough wrong with it, and the purpose of the Pocket 1, from my point of view, seemed to be a miss overall, comparatively. But I do know that there were some people here that were thumb typing, and I don't think that thumb typing is going to work as well on the Pocket 2 if you are a thumb typer for the Pocket, if only because the Shift key is only over here, and if you're looking, there is no right Shift key. So that means that if you were going to do Shift Q or Shift W or Shift E, you're going to be leaning all the way over here, to hit the shift key or else you're going to be doing shift and then like an index key which might seem a little weird so for people that had the pocket and thumb type this might not be an ideal form factor for you having said that i much prefer this setup this arrangement over the pocket one um and we'll just go ahead and just show you how that works out in in practice so go ahead and now the optical sensor you're seeing that it's going kind of slow. The only reason that it's going kind of slow is because I have slowed it down. By default, it is sensationally faster and I prefer to have a little bit more, the word is accuracy at the trade-off of speed. So we'll go ahead and, oh, let me go ahead and start this one. Now, the thing that I want to uh talk about while doing this chossable is whenever i make a mistake is hitting the backspace key i don't i don't have to i don't have to think about it i just it's intuitively where i i feel that that key should be never am i am i pecking for it it's always just exactly how i anticipate where that key is going to be now it should it's worth noting that i am an uh, an organic typer. I've never, I don't, I never went to keyboard classes. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and think while typing. They are now, so that's 37.5 word per minute. My accuracy is pretty low. Let's go ahead and just try another one. Oh man, this is long. The, the melting, let's go escape this. Let's see if we can get a short one. <laughs> Start off, I'm already failing. In a debate. Frankly, my dear. Do 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 do. Oh, that's apostrophe. That's the other thing that I would want to touch base on is the keys on the bottom right. Um, I can understand the sacrifices, why they made them. Um, I would have liked... It, it, there is no... I don't think that there is any real compromise. It is it is well pl placed, especially when you try to think about how, how they could do it better. Uh, stronger period. Apostrophe is there. That idea when you are arrogant, superficial, and uninformed. So more closer to 40 word per minute. Um, but more importantly, the hopefully showcasing how quickly I can hit the backspace key without even having to think about it. I'm not like trying to think about where the backspace key is. I'm just hitting the backspace key. Additionally, the space bar, 
I wish that the spacebar key was just a little bit wider. And I understand why they couldn't because they needed these to be full keys. And I'm really glad they decided to go full keys for most all keys aside from these top keys up here. Now, um, it's, it's, it's such a tough thing and I get it. And it's one of the things that I really didn't like about how clustered these, these keys were because these half keys, they just don't feel well when you're typing on them and these full keys do. So I realized the sacrifices that need to be made and I'm for the most part, I'm not having too much trouble hitting that space bar key. One thing that I do have a problem with is that this is the apostrophe key and uh, you're more than likely looking for it up here. I have been able to recondition my thought process to hit them down here. Um, additionally, the tab key is going to be up here. Uh, as I've d discussed already in my general comparison video, these four keys are changed. You can go ahead and take a look at them over there. Tab will be up here. I don't think that's so much of a problem. Overall, the, the, the layout of the keyboard is really, really nice. I'm not the fastest typer in the world. I average about uh, 75 to 80 words per minute, but on this smaller type of uh, keyboard, funnily enough, I thumb type as fast as this as I do on the Win 2. So um, I really like the Win 2 keyboard as well, but I also really like this keyboard for just general uh, full finger typing. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up for thumb typing. I'm not gonna get as good of a score, but it's gonna kind of highlight that shift key problem. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and click enter. And now you can see I can only shift over here. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't even recommend, oh boy, rival machines, robot. I apologize if the camera isn't perfect. I'm trying to look at my keyboard instead of the viewfinder. Preserve the selfish, no, no, selfish. Mo oh boy, molecules known as genes, period. This is a truth which still fills me with, with astonishment. Okay, so word score is 35 words per minute. Um, Perhaps I just don't have really large hands to really handle this device well. Um, I, I there this device is not going to be as nice for thumb typing as the GPT Win One was, specifically because of no right shift key. So uh, overall, I think that the keyboard experience is a huge improvement over the GPT Pocket One. I don't. I don't feel I'm cramped in any sense of the word. There are some sacrifices that I understand why they were made. Give me a second while I rebalance this camera. All right, and we're back. So thumb typing, I'm not a huge fan of it. I could understand thumb typing on the Pocket 1. This one is going to be a bit more problem. Full typing, big fan, much, much, much more improved over the Pocket 1. And I can feel like I'm actually typing really well. Now, how that's going to work when you also need to use the, the optical mouse sensor, not too bad. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you guys can see it moving around in here. Um, so yeah, that's that. Now let's go ahead and touch on the touch bar itself. Now these two keys, this is left mouse and right mouse. So let's go ahead and bring the, the optical mouse sensor down here. You can see the right mouse working. Okay, and then right here is the fan mute button, which will turn the fan off. Turns the fan off. We can turn the fan back on. Here is the mute key. And you'll see that just, that works. And volume down, volume up. Now, one thing that's worth noting is these uh, brightness settings. If you just press it, nothing works. You have to hold it down to make it work. So that's not a huge concern. All you have to do is just hold it. And that's fine enough. I guess they were, they were worried about um, accidental clicks. Like if you, were just, if you were just to do that, but holding it works just fine. So that's it for the touch bar. The only other thing that I want, obviously there's a power key right over here. The only thing that I want to touch base on is that this is not a capacitive, this is not a capacitive touch bar button. This is a plastic sheet over mechanical switch buttons. You can actually hear them. So um, it doesn't feel very good. It feels really chintzy. 
Um, there are also concerns of this plastic eventually popping off or coming off at the seams. Um, I really wish that these were just buttons themselves. I think that would have been a better design or perhaps they, they couldn't just because of space considerations over here. Um, I just really, I don't really like how this feels. It doesn't feel very good. So I'm not a huge fan of this, although you're not going to be touching them all the time. So not a huge concern, I guess, but if they ever stop, start like, can we focus on this? So if they ever just start like eventually like bubbling out, you can almost catch it. You can almost catch out. You can see the, you can see it right there. You can see it like how they're kind of forming over the buttons themselves. Um, so the touch bar, not a big fan. Um, it works and it operates, but uh, the keys themselves is a huge improvement. Really great job that GPD did for the keyboard keys. Uh, the action of the keys feels considerably better over the Pocket 1. Um, so yeah, that's it. This is the keyboard review for the Pocket 2. Hopefully um, I've showcased it for people that are index finger typers as well as those for thumb typing. Apologies to the thumb typers out there. Um, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching.